Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with Get On Stream. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to go out there and add goals to OBS Studio using Stream Elements. That's goals such as follower goals, sub goals, donation goals to your stream. I'm going to do this super quick, just show you exactly how to do it and no fluff. So if you do enjoy the video, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 1000 subscribers. So do that and let's jump in and take a look. So I'm going to jump in here to Stream Elements. If you haven't created a Stream Elements account, you will need to create one if you want to add goals to OBS Studio using Stream Elements, obviously. So what we're going to do is head over to the left hand side here and we're going to come into Overlays gallery and once you come in here you want to come over to this widgets button and when you click that there is a ton of options in here so anything else that you may want to add you can have a look through here but the one that we're going to be using today to add a goal to our stream is the advanced goal widget all you have to do is click create right here i'm going to create it on a new overlay if you have existing stream elements overlays you could go ahead and add it to it but i'm going to be adding a new one i'm going to do this as a youtube tutorial goal just give it a name create my overlay and it's going to give you this link now we're going to have to add this link into obs studio using a browser source so i've copied that link i'm going to open up my obs studio right here you can see i've got an example in here i'm actually just going to delete that for now what we want to do is come down to our sources in obs studio click add click browser give it a name so i'm going to call this uh, goal widget just so I know exactly what it is when I'm streaming I'm going to click ok and then in this URL box we're going to delete what's in there I'm going to paste in the link we got from stream elements click ok and you should see your goal come in now when you first see this you can see I can move it around position it wherever you want in your stream but it looks kind of horrible we've got this big symbol Mr. Boost right here so let's go ahead and edit that so if you want to edit that we can come back over into stream elements right here Click go to my overlays. You can do that over on the left hand side as well. If you exit it out of that pane, we're going to click into the overlay we just created, which is the YouTube tutorial goal. So I'm going to click edit on this and we're going to see a ton of options that we can change. So I'm going to show you the ones that I would probably change if I was using this goal widget. So I'm going to click on this section here and then we can open up the settings. You can also delete this. You don't need this uh, on here. Uh, so I'm going to click this into the settings and what we're going to see is channel name right here so if you did want like this big thing here with your channel name on it you could add that in i would recommend just deleting it it looks pretty horrible uh, i'm going to turn off the avatar which is the logo right there and i'm going to turn off uh, the nickname display as well so now we're going to see a few different options the first one is it says current numbers right here and this is going to be when your goal is you know based upon right is it this week this month or all time those are the three options that you have so i'd probably recommend setting a goal in around kind of you know a smaller a smaller time frame right you don't want like an all-time goal you've currently got 100 followers and you're aiming for 10,000. You know people aren't going to be incentivized to follow or subscribe if it's the goal is so far away so i would recommend doing it every week and set a realistic goal so it depended on the size of your channel maybe you want to get 100 new followers a week set it to that so you can go ahead i'm going to select this week uh you know i can set it to this month all time here probably just to get a, a little bit more information here because mine's kind of not updated i don't have any followers this week so all time donations right here viewer count followers cheers and sub count these are the different goals that you can set the ones you're probably going to use are probably donation goals maybe a follower goal and probably a sub count goal they're going to be the main ones that you use and with this widget you're going to have two different goals displaying at the same time now there is a way to remove one we could just crop it out if you don't want it there doesn't seem to be any way to only have one inside the widget so i'm going to select donation right here and then i'm going to select followers right there so we can see this is our goal and then our viewer count goal follower goal we can set the specific amount that we want to reach so if i wanted to hit you know only 500 followers this week or this month here it's getting very very close whereas my donation goal is 150 over here it's very far away so you can see how that bar scales up over time so you can come in here set the specific goals that you want and then if you do want to go come in and edit some other stuff to make the goal widget more on brand you can come in here change your fonts change the size of it you know change uh, the gradient colors to make this different so once you've went in played around with your fonts your colors made everything look exactly the way you wanted to you can then just come up here to the right hand side and click save now there is a couple of other things such as down here if you want 
a video to appear whenever you reach your goal. Maybe that's something you're going to record. Maybe it's an animation you're going to buy on Fiverr. You can come in here and set that video. You can also upload a sound that plays whenever the goal is met to kind of create more of an atmosphere on your stream. There's also some stuff like position and size here. You can play around with this if you need to. But what's going to happen is whenever you save this on uh, stream elements, automatically going to update over here in OBS. You can see we've got our little donation goal and our follower goal right here. So I'd probably just make that a little smaller and just set it underneath my webcam or something like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. That is this tutorial. Hopefully you appreciate the fact we do these super quick and just get straight to the point. If you did enjoy it, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.